It is a 3D camera, a 3D scanner, but it comes with several of these little badges. You just stick onto the back of the monitor, and then you just attach it magnetically and just hangs it. Showing right there. So what my colleague is going to demo is, uh, well actually, if you buy the hardware, it comes with a whole suite of applications. This one's just the most fun to demo. So. So we're going to scan this uh, elephant object. Okay. <laughs> so the first stage is uh, we're using a low-res camera and a depth camera to get the shape of the elephant. So make sure you're rotating uh, your You rotate that pretty fast, too. Yeah. It's all real-time tracking. Now, why isn't it picking up your fingers? So as long as I'm moving my fingers, um, our SLAM technology would be able to tell which part is the object and which part is my fingers. Because the object always stays constant, right? Uh -huh. So if ever this track, you just simply put it back and it'll kind of like stabilize. So this would be the first stage. So when you think the shape of the object is pretty good, you can stop. And what we're doing next is we're using a 14.1 megapixel camera okay. to take really high quality pictures. Okay. And we're mapping these pictures onto the geometric okay. shape that you got previously. Can you bump map and stuff like that too? Um, you can what? Can you bump map? Does it like pick up bump mapping or anything like bump that? Bump mapping? Yeah, like for like... Raised textures, like say if this has like a little bit of. No, because okay. that would be the 3D depth camera. Okay. This is just a oh, that's fine. Uh, 14 megapixel camera. But you'll, you'll see the results at the end. They're pretty good. Okay. So you generally want to take about six or eight, show it every like, primary phase, primary axis. If you want, not in our software. And then it takes about an, uh, a minute to take all the high res images that you took. Uh, stitch them all together and then map them onto the uh, 3D model. So that takes about a minute, but we'll just fast forward through that. <coughs> so what you would typically end up with is something like this. Oh, Yeah, so um, you can see some imperfections here, but if you practice a little more and like take a couple more pictures and make sure you're covering all the parts, our software will be able to stitch everything together. Yeah, the funny thing is, this is the one that I did and I rendered, so it doesn't have as many imperfections. But this one was actually just the first time user. She came up, she scanned it, she took the pictures. The only critique I, well, it's, it's honestly perfect. It's just when she took the back picture, kind of, she was kind of moving it a little bit, so that's why you get that sweat. But even then, for a first time user, she did this in three, four minutes. So, very easy to do. Like, you just bought a camera? Yes. Yeah, so, so this unit alone. But it okay. comes with the mat, and it comes with our software tools. Yeah, that's and nice. And a couple of these that you can stick on to multiple models. I've been looking for this other So, this is currently going for $5.99, and we just announced it this week at CES, and we planned on shipping mid-March. Okay. What format does this export? It outputs as an OBJ, yes, uh, and Microsoft's new format, 3MF. Okay. which um, you can easily import into PowerPoint, Word, and a bunch of other things that Microsoft has planned for 3MF. They just only started using it. So, like an example, yeah, so these shells are something that we scanned in the lab. And you can add them in um, PowerPoint. And I can show you how uh, you can kind of animate your slides. So those were scanned with this exact same software just before CES. Just in each slide, you just move them, rotate them, and PowerPoint handles all the transitions and all that. And what is that model called? This is the HP 3D, Z3D camera. Nice. I like it. So, 599. If you need something a little bit more professional grade, like if it's for, like this is perfect for content creation, putting in PowerPoint or Adobe or Photoshop or anything like that. Um, it's great for that, but if you need something for like reverse engineering where you need higher precision 3D scanning, um, the Sprout Gen 2, which was released last year, uh, basically the same thing as up here, but has a built-in projector, and it comes with a software, professional 3D scanning software developed by David Laser, and uh, it uses the projector to project structured light, so you can get much higher 3D quality. So it goes from about 2 millimeters resolution to 50 micro. But it's an all-in-one solution. You got to buy the whole product. Software comes with it. It's about thirty-five hundred dollars. Okay. Sorry, which? 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 